this is the intro. China hosted the International Firework Exhibition this week. Let's take a look. I've always said China have been the world innovators in firework technology. Celebrities everywhere around the world are counting down the days on social media to what you say? Judgment day? No, no, I wish. Instead it's counting down the release of Justin Bieber's new track. Pete Doherty is bringing a drug counsellor on tour with him. And no, he's not playing an instrument. Intel suggests the counsellor has been brought along due to his worldwide connection, drug quality testing and portion control. Twitter has removed the 140 character limit. Wait, don't celebrate yet. They have removed it from the direct messaging feature. Yes, that's right. Now we can send abusive 10 page essays on why you are not funny to our favorite celebrity and Twitter comedians without anyone publicly knowing. Zac Efron is bearing the red speedos and landed a role in the new Baywatch film. <laughs> Next thing you know, he'll be drunk, eating cheeseburgers off the bathroom floor. Like me, if you're familiar with the landmarks of Chicago, then this next piece of news will be a doozy. Chicago's infamous Cloud Gate sculpture has been completely replicated in the country of the week. Yes, China. So you can imagine it's being made much cheaper and probably broke every work ethics law. It's rumoured they bought it off a man standing on a beach with a long trench coat. No wonder the Fantastic Four film got such bad reviews. Have you seen the trailer? Whoa. Now, ladies and gentlemen, did you hear about your favourite couple completely calling the relationship off? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Kermit and Miss Piggy have called it a day. We have a live response from Camberbatch, who is, um, got a response on the matter. Come back. It's mortifying. <laughs> there is a new Space Jam film apparently in the works. Don't worry. I know exactly what you're thinking. Michael Jordan is way too old. But I feel your concern, and let me tell you, there's a lot more basketball players out there. However, I do have some very early details I can tell you about the main star. Apparently, he's African American. <laughs> Obviously, Warner Brothers are throwing a real curveball with that decision. Hey, editor. Editor. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, end it now. End it? Yeah? Yeah? Alright. Sweet. Sweet. Cool. I'll just... Cool, cool. End that.